Hey guys, what's going on? Nintenkid here again, back with you on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Today I have a domination gameplay for you, which is a pretty big comeback, if you uh, want to call it that. If you look at the score right now, I joined in right when it was 30 to 110, and it's already round 2. So, um, I'm looking at this as whatever, I'll just stay in the game, and I just get melted right off the bat. So I'm thinking, okay, this isn't going good, we're going to get creamed, I'll see if I can stay in here. Um... Regardless, this is basically probably one of my best comebacks. Um, it's a pretty good epic comeback. I know I had one on Black Ops 2 on Combine a while ago. I think it was called Combine. I don't even remember those. No, not Combine. It was, uh... Oh, God. I don't even remember the name of the map. But I had another one on Black Ops 2 where I got, like, a swarm VSAT Warhog and all this stuff. And we came back. So I have something similar on this episode here. Um, I am using the Weevil. This is just a 6 vs 6 domination, and with the Weevil right now, all I have is Quick Draw. So it's essentially a pea shooter. I don't know if you guys have used the Weevil much, but if you don't have FMJ or Long Barrel on this thing, it has a 3 bar damage meter. Um, so it's pretty much the lowest damage SMG by default without any attachments. The thing is a straight up pea shooter. So I didn't have anything unlocked since I just did the Weapon Prestige prior to this video. Um, the only thing I really had was Quick Draw. So that's a little bit uh, of something to consider. It's a lot, you gotta get a lot of close kills with this gun for it to be somewhat effective. Long range, you gotta go through almost your entire 50 clip to get a kill on one person from long range. So that's why you can see me running Scavenger right now. Um, and then the other difference in perks actually is I've switched Gung Ho out for Dead Silence because I'm sick of hearing my footsteps and it makes me feel like I'm X Jaws from Modern Warfare 2 because he used to hate hearing his footsteps in that game. I used to do the same thing. I always ran Dead Silence or Ninja Pro, whatever it was called in the previous Call, uh, Call of Duties, depending on what game you were playing. So I figured I'd do it on this class too. And then what I did was I took out my, uh, my black cell and uh, my second concussion grenade and threw a second second perk on a second second perk as goofy as that sounds so now i have fast hands is my f the first second perk and then my second second perk is scavenger um, and then my first perk is still just flak jacket so that's uh, kind of how i change this up and again the reason why i did it is because this weevil honestly it takes forever to kill somebody with it so i want to make sure that i have the ability to pick up bullets if i need them so that's kind of what I'm doing. So, in this game, what I'm uh, mainly trying to do here is see if we can keep two flags captured for majority of the time while I go around trying to get kills and trying to bump up my score streak. Because I figure if I get my score streaks, we'll be able to hold three flags more easily. Because I'll have a wraith that I can put down at one flag opposite of the one that we, you know, will most previously capture. And then I can put down my wraps to just kind of go out throughout the entire map and keep them off the flags. Because... The last thing you want is having to be stationary when there's wraps on a map. So it's perfect for domination when you're trying to triple cap, which is really what we need to win this game. Uh, with me just being in here already, we've come back a little bit. We're still down by at least 50 points, and that's kind of tough because if they're at 50 points from winning and we're at uh, 200 or 100 points from winning, we know we're going to have to do some magic here. So I'm just trying to get some stuff laid down here with the hive. Trying to put it in high traffic zones so that it's more likely to go off. And then I get lucky right there with a double kill with my Hellstorm missile. Normally I only get a single kill or nothing. Because for some reason it defaults to launching it in the middle of nowhere. Um, the other thing that you can always do too is always slow it down. A lot of people forget that you can slow it down and speed it up in Black Ops 3. And I'm still having this debate. I don't know if it's still better to spread it out or leave it as one solid missile um, for the impact. So I just got my Wraith there and I threw it down on A because we're taking C right now. So they're most likely going to start spawning A and taking that. Um, they did instead take Bravo, but it's not a big deal because a lot of my teammates are closer to that. Uh, I did just get that Hive kill, which is awesome because Hive kills are 125 points. There's another one and they can come randomly and come in handy at the most random moments you could be 200 points off your next score streak and all of a sudden randomly somewhere on the map somebody trips your hive and there you go you get 125 points and then it happens again you get another 125 so it's actually not that bad of a score streak you just got to stay alive after you put it down got a nice pick off there and i'm kind of hanging out by a making sure they're not going to be able to take it although i got a couple of wraps over there too so that's good um i figured i'd just run on over see if i can pick up any kills because at this point we are only down by 20 now, but I still need to be able to pretty much have 
score streaks out there, so I'm trying to recycle them the best I can. Because my whole mindset is the only way we're going to win this is if I can get my stuff in the air or on the ground. And we can triple cap and hold that for pretty much the rest of the map. Um, although right now, being down by two point, or uh, about 12 points uh, at this score limit with this much time left, we probably could have made the, a very close comeback with just two flags. But uh, I wanted to be sure of the win, so I kept going for three, triple capping it. And uh, you'll see right here, we start taking C, and this hopefully would seal the deal at this point. And then, even if we triple cap it for 30 seconds, that's uh, a huge increase in points. You can just see I got my Hellstorm again. So I'm going to kind of, I, I go to the worst spot for cover, but I figured nobody was on this side of the map at the moment. They're probably more rushing the other side of the map. So I got one point there with my Hellstorm. However, I was looking at this and it only gave me 25 points. I thought it should give me a defend kill. Even though it's a Hellstorm, I still think I should get defend points for that because there was somebody sitting directly on A when that happened. Um, so they start taking Elphil again and uh, instead of running through that doorway, I always like to flank around the side here because they're less likely to have their attention directed this way. And, when, and whenever you go through a door leading towards a spawn, you're just framing yourself for the enemy. I mean, you're literally funneling yourself into a small area. So just got the Wraith again, threw that down on Charlie, and uh, hopefully it'll clean up anybody over there. Right now I'm uh, moving in back towards Charlie. I see that they just took Bravo, but instead of jumping on it, I'd rather push forward and try to cut people off from going C to B. Uh, and that way I can ensure my team an easier capture of the Bravo flag. Um, just a score update there though, we're now beating them by 10. Anything can change though because they actually triple cap us right now. So we lose all points at this point. We're, we're not getting anything for a good 10 seconds there. I finally take C and get an insane kill feed right there with Hives and my Wraith. And I just stupidly don't see these guys over there. So I, I could have actually had my Hellstorm again. Didn't realize they were spawning right there. Um, and then I get picked off right here too, so another dumb death. Probably couldn't have happened, but right now, game's about to end. And we pulled the comeback off only by 10 points. And it was, I mean, that's a, in my book, that's a game changer right there. I, I was a game changer, I feel like, with that type of comeback. So final score was 35-4. and four. Uh, Probably could have done a lot better if I didn't get that death at the beginning and then that death at the end. That would have been a better KD. But uh, I don't think I could have done much more in terms of kills unless I was in the game from the start. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.